All right, are we ready to change our uh, browser? I know, I, I know you're not. I was kidding. But this guy is somebody you're going to be chanting his name. Let me tell you a quick story before we actually get to him, because you got to hear it. Are you okay with stories? Yeah. Okay, let's got to make sure. First of all, he's an absolute freak. When you see him, he's 6061, 245 pounds, and his arms hit the ground. Right? And he is one of the prettiest young men you've ever seen. When he walks in, you're going to say, Wait, hey, everybody, hey, he looks like that. <laughs> is that our guy? That's our guy? Okay, coach can change the roster. <laughs> the number one player in the state of Connecticut came to the University of Minnesota. And let me tell you how that transpired. You want to talk about difficult situations. And I know I get a lot of razz and digs about what I said in my press conference, which is the one thing I wish I could have taken back. <laughs> I eat difficult conversations for breakfast. You all remember that one? The old time one-liner by me, and that's the only one I'll ever want to take back. And after I said it, Heather Gregg says, you actually said it. I said, I know, I, I haven't slept for days. <laughs> so, and then you all took it, ran with it. And our rivals did too. And the media. So, but don't worry, there's no problems, only situations. We got through them. But, so we're here, we have a lot of defensive ends because this class was all about the D-line. It was all about linebacker. It was all about, okay, if this happens, we gotta fix the secondary. But we're talking about D-line guys, when they walk in here, they don't walk in any place like this a lot. And when they walk in here, we better get them, because they don't come around very often. When we saw him, I'm like, yep, this is the one, right? And he's here on his official visit. So is our D-line coach at the time. And all of a sudden, Saturday morning, our defensive line coach leaves, which I love. I want all these guys, and I said that very publicly, I want their dreams to come true. And he left for all the right reasons. I want to make sure I say that. For all the right reasons. And we as a staff know him, and he's a great friend of all of ours. And we support him 100% and wish him all of us. But! He ends up leaving. And now I have defense events waking up Saturday morning without their coach. So I'm now the new D-line coach. And we're going to see how good Coach Fleck really is. Third person, Heather, I know you hate that. I just am telling a story like someone else was telling me. <laughs> you can imagine her house. So anyway, Saturday morning comes around and I meet with our staff. I said, we have a situation, not a problem, a situation. I tell them all what's going on. They said, wow, Kurt Scirocco says, how are you going to pull this one out of your hat? Maybe that's what he usually tells me, but it's like a really difficult situation. I said, well, we're going to be honest. We're going to do everything right. Because most coaches would leave after signing day, not say anything, sign the kids and bolt. And we all came to the agreement that's probably best for everybody to part ways right now. Because if we get the kid, I didn't get the kid for the right reasons. We'll fight you for him. But if we don't get him, it's okay. And Mark Coyle was in complete alignment with that. And our staff was in complete alignment with that. Which made our job a hundred times harder for that weekend. Right? Because now that person switches allegiances and now recruits immediately for somebody else. That's how our business works. Right? And so now all of a sudden, somebody's saying great things about us, all of a sudden, somebody's saying something great about somebody else. Right? And still saying good things about us. That's the one thing I do want to make sure everybody understands. Because Jim Pantelis is a first class individual. But it makes it hard now for a kid to sit there and say, I'm just going to wait till February. Worst case scenario, or best case scenario, I'm going to wait till February. Or, or, I can't tell you all the things in terms of how everything went, but I might have talked to this kid 20 times on FaceTime yesterday. And we caught up with 20 years of not knowing each other. And we're talking about four years before he was born. <laughs> and Coach Rossi will tell you, if I didn't hear from him in 20 minutes, I was down the hall. Coach Rossi, have you heard from John? Coach, I just talked to him 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I just have you heard from him. And we constantly did it as a group. We did it as a team. We 
recruited that kid to make sure he understood you bought the culture, you didn't buy one person. Just like when people commit, they don't just buy me. They buy our culture, they buy our staff, they buy you, they buy our program, they buy our state, they buy everything. And that's what he fell in love with. And that kid signed this morning. Out of all the adversity that happened, because there was three times where he said, I'm not. I'm waiting until February. And then he came back. And then it was February. And then it was back. And then it was, I'm not coming at all. And then it was back. Unbelievable. When you do the right thing, how amazing things can turn out for you. It's a great life lesson for a lot of youngsters that are in here. And I see a lot of young kids in here. Always do the right thing. And when you do the right thing, it might be harder. It might be tougher. It not be, might, might not be the most advantageous position you're in. And everybody might not be doing it. But if you do it, you think things are going to turn out. He's a special young man. And that's the story of John Joyner becoming a Golden Gopher. This young man was committed to Boston College. They got a new coaching staff. That's how we got back involved with him. But he is one of the nicest, most respectful, and again, did I mention prettiest young man you will ever see. And I can't wait till you get to meet this young man. So, jump, 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 this guy, you mom. Jump, jump.